All right. Good afternoon, folks. Today we're going to talk about Immigrant Entrepreneur Summit. It's that time of the year. And folks, um, Minnesota IES always happens right around May every year. And so um, now we wanted to use the time um, at Community CPA to talk about our exciting event that we sponsor every year since its very inception in 2008. I have a very special guest here, Catherine, um, and she's going to be talking with me today. For those of you that already know about IES and those of you that are new to IES and watching this video can know more about IES and get excited about this event coming up. So, um, before I do that, for those of you that are new to Community CPA, I want to kind of share a little bit about our firm with more than 26 plus years of practice and Community CPA and our team members. Uh, we speak more than 10 plus languages collectively. Can you believe that? We call ourselves the mini United Nations. So um, we have 10,000 clients worldwide. We have four branches currently, Des Moines, Iowa City, Minneapolis, and Capitola, California. We're working on opening our Houston branch in June, this June in 2024. So exciting things happening here at our firm. And you guys know our very own Ying Sa. She's our CEO, managing partner. She served on the National Taxpayer Advocacy Panel, which is like a fancy term, um, uh, like a panel that works and serves the IRS to make sure our taxpayers' voices are heard and their issues are being resolved. Now, that's a little bit about our firm. Let's talk about Ying's book. So she has two books, right? You guys know. The first one, uh, I think this came out a few years ago, but Appointment with Ying at 8 a.m. is good for you if you're a new startup business owner, if you're very, very new and you don't know where to go. You don't really want to go through all the hardships and trying to figure out how to navigate this new startup venture. You pick up this book and get it off of Amazon or come to one of our offices and pick up a, um, a book at 8 a.m. It tells you all about the different stories Ying encountered in her appointments with her clients. So if you know a little bit about Ying, she is a very good storyteller. So this book will allow you to read through from cover to cover in no time because they're so fun and so exciting. The second book came out more recently, and this is about growing your business. So if you already read Ying's first book, you know you want to read the second one, right? This 10 a.m. is all about how to take your business to the next level after you've started your business, after you've been in business a few years. Now you want to know, Dan, Cat. Ying, how do I grow my business? This is the book you want to pick up, okay? And it's also story-filled. And I, I think a lot of the, the people that you see may be the people that you've encountered in your life in business. And so you're going to be like, oh, I, I can relate. I know this. And so I think you will really be able to enjoy that book. So make sure you check this out, okay? So... We have to do a no responsibility disclaimer. You guys know this is not the fun stuff, but we have to read it. Community CPA, we're providing these seminars, webinars, in order to disseminate knowledge that may help businesses like yours to grow, and you can learn at your own leisure. We are not responsible for any damages that our attendees here may suffer as a result of following any of the advice or information here provided, although we are always doing our best to stay informed things information always could change. So just always get a professional second opinion. So that's it. We're going to get right into it now. We're going to talk about Immigrant Entrepreneur Summit, also known as IES, and how Community CPA got involved, what it means for our firm as Community CPA to be the highest level presenting sponsor of the event year after year after year. And I want to make sure I introduce Catherine here. So Catherine, you want to say hi? Of course. Thank you, Dan. Thank you so much for having me on today. I'm very much looking forward to 
being um, with community CPA as a partner again this year and as for all the years that we've done this, right? So oh, yeah. um, since- When's the event? <laughs> so the event is on fi Friday, May 31st, which is the end of this month. Wow. And it's a full day conference. So 8.30 to 3.30, and it will be a lot of attendees. So please join us. We'll have about 200 business owners that will be present at the event to learn mm -hmm. and looking forward to tell telling more about that. Yes, Catherine, and I think our attendees here, our viewers here are dying to know. So we can go right into the first question. How did IES get started, Kat? And what is its purpose? Absolutely. So as I was saying, the organization was formed in 2008, really as an initiative among those in the Des Moines metro area where we were headquartered. Um, to support immigrant businesses that were struggling. So a lot of people within the immigrant business community were noticing that there were these struggles that were causing these businesses to stumble. And that could be for a lot of reasons, right? It could be yeah. because of just not knowing how practices are done in the US compared to their countries of origin. It could be mm -hmm. language barriers, it could be cultural barriers, um, certainly economic barriers, right? So um, we created this event to bring experts all together and those who need the knowledge and the learning in order to succeed into one room, into one event where they can learn and grow up together. So the mission um, since 2008 and continuing, of course, is to bring businesses of diverse background together to share, learn, and celebrate the immigrant entrepreneurship experience and contribution to the overall community. So what that means is not just we want to teach, of course, that is a big part of what we do, but we also want to learn together and grow together and recognize that immigrant businesses create a lot of wealth for our community. It generates a lot of um, support for their own communities, right? It invests back into itself and it invests into the state growth. Um, and so we want to recognize that. And then over the past several years, um, it has grown into different regions. So outside of the Des Moines area, we now have two other major footprint. Um, and one is the, the Minnesota area, which started in 2019 um, and has, has grown since then. Um, and our other one is in the Quad Cities as well. So that will happen later in the year. Yes, um, has definitely changed a lot, definitely grown a lot, and just really exciting to see year after year. But um, what about this particular event? Can we go through like what all is going to happen on this date for our Minnesota IES attendees? Oh, yes, absolutely. So the overview, I'll just talk a bit about the agenda to give a high level overview, and then we can get into specific details. But cool. as I mentioned, 8.30 a.m., that's when people come in, that's when you'll get your badges and the program book and start to network and connect with people. At 9 a.m., we have our opening ceremony, and that really just kicks off the event. There's going to be a panel discussion there from state and local level. So cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul are going to be there, as well as uh, from DEED, rep representation from DEED. Um, after the opening ceremony happens, we have a couple of different workshops. And the way that these workshops um, operate is that they're breakout sessions. So they're in the smaller classrooms and people get to pick and choose. And um, so there's two different morning sessions that happen back to back. Um, there's visiting with exhibitors after. And then the luncheon happens. It will be um, a catered lunch where we will also, uh, I'll discuss a bit about the panel later, but um, we'll be 
getting together again in one big room to eat together and learn together. And then after that, um, we get to visit again with our exhibitors. And then we have a final workshop um, breakout session at 1.45 in the afternoon, um, followed by a closing ceremony and giveaway. So that will then wrap up the event afterward. I know there's a ton going on throughout the day. It's jam-packed one day event. What is it that if you should say, this is why you should come, if there is like a highlight or some important people that you think people should get to know, can we talk about that a little bit? Absolutely. So we are very honored to have the Minnesota Secretary of State, Secretary Steve Simon, at our event again this year. He's a big supporter of the Immigrant Entrepreneur Summit and has been um, coming every year to basically speak about how the state is supporting immigrant entrepreneurship, how the state is supporting small business growth. So that is one of the key notes that we will have and that will be during the luncheon time. So you'll want to make sure to uh, see that and be part of that. And then following that, we will also have a luncheon panel. Now there's two different aspects of this panel. One is hearing from immigrant entrepreneurs themselves. So we have two immigrant entrepreneurs um, on this panel. One is Juan Urena, and he is um, in marketing. And then we have Ying Saab, uh, CEO of Community CPA and uh, as a CPA firm, accounting. Um, so they're going to talk a bit about their business journey, what they wish they knew, resources that they used. Um, and so we really get to hear from them and both their success and struggles as they are working towards um, their business. And then um, we will also hear from um, two resource, um, mm. large resources that are for to support the small businesses in Minnesota. So one of that is the SBA. So we have Director Brian McDonald, who will be speaking on the different um, ways that the SBA is supporting small businesses. And then on a more one-on-one -on -one level, we'll have the SBDC as well. So Diane Patterson will be representing that organization and how they are, what they're doing to support small businesses on that level as well. So those are the two that I would say, uh, the, the keynote and the luncheon panel, you wouldn't want to miss, but then we will also have great speakers throughout the day and in the opening ceremony again, as well as representatives from the state um, and local level are coming to um, connect with attendees. Wow. Yeah. Um, now for people, they, they want to know, you know, what are some things I can take away, right? What are some lessons I can take away? What are some classes I can be a part of? Do we have that? Can we share a little bit about that? Absolutely. So as I mentioned, there are these breakout sessions that happen throughout the day. Um, but, you know, beyond so beyond the, the general sessions where I'm sure we'll hear a lot about these different business resources, there are several different um, breakout sessions. So three times, and then each of these workshop times, there's going to be three workshops to choose from. So a total of nine different workshops. And you'll see the full description in the program book. So when you come into the event, you'll get one of those and you can flip through it and see, read the descriptions and kind of pick what is best for you and your business um, at, for the day. So you can just go to the respective breakout sessions that are most relevant to you. So the first one I wanted to mention are the first morning sessions. There are three of these sessions, as I mentioned. So the first will be on tax saving strategies, maximize savings, not spending. That will be presented by Ying Sa from Community CPA. And so for this session, it's like many times business owners are thinking about how 
to reduce their taxes, right? So that's obviously a big concern for many. Um, so a lot of times their accountant or tax preparer might have in mind, you know, how they can purchase more so that they can deduct expenses. Um, and while that's certainly um, one method, uh, Ying has uh, in mind a lot of different strategies of how to uh, maximize your savings um, and think about it from um, a tax strategy perspective. So she, she's able to break it down in a very um, understandable way. Uh, for our participants. So that is certainly a session that is worth going to. Um, the second is secrets to creating wealth with your business. Um, so for those who don't know about the um, business model canvas, um, that this is what this presentation is going to be based on around. So really thinking about what the value of your business is, the, um, the value proposition that it brings, the problems that your business is trying to solve, and what customers you're trying to attract, right? So these are the types of um, things that this workshop will be going through. And this will be with my colleague, actually, in, um, it's Curtis Bao. He's the director of business development with IES, and he's going to be co-hosting it with Bill Adamowski from Drake University's College of Business and Public Administration. So they'll have a great presentation on thinking about how you're doing business and the the values that it that it will bring to your customers and clients. And then the third session will be uh, Making Sense of Financial Statements with Diane Patterson. Again, she's from the SBDC. Um, and really that will focus on, um, on financial statements, right? So how can a business be profitable but still struggle with cash flow? And so really going into an, an analysis of what it means to have um you know your profit margin looking strong um uh, and and the break even point for for your business so you can learn that from her in that session um and then so those are the first morning session group and then we have our second session after um and that will be so these three workshops are what we have planned so far. Um, legal issues is the first um, of those. Um, and really that is, of course, we want to support immigrant businesses in understanding how um, legal things work in, in business in the US. So um, intellectual property is one of the things that is going to be talked about as well as um, immigration strategy, um, which is, of course, critical for compliance and also acquiring talent, right? So those are the two uh, focus areas of, um, of our presentation for this one. And it will be presented by June Chang and Tina Sawatsky from Fredrickson and Byron. Um, and then the second one is lending. So if you are a business thinking about trying to get loans, um, this is one that is good for you. So this one will be talking about um, it from a minority business perspective on how to prepare for bank financing um, and best practices in order to, to be successfully bankable. And then I know that for this one, she also will have um, a section where she's talking specifically on how to, um, a program that they have to loan to minority women entrepreneurs. So if you are a woman in business and are looking for that loan and extra support, this is one of the workshops you'll want to attend. And then um, our last one for this first, uh, the, the morning session will be by a clarity coach. Her name is Jana Stockman. Um, she is going to focus more on time management, focus, prioritization. So of course these things are very important for business owners as they're looking to get things organized, to make 
them feel like they are efficient in doing what they need to do and to get the best outcome. So she's going to help you think through that for your business. Um, and she's a great speaker, so you will enjoy that if you're still struggling with feeling overwhelmed by all the things that you have to do in your business. Any questions on those before I move it? on? Yeah, what about in the afternoon? So we have some more in the afternoon, right? We do. So I'm just going to highlight two in the afternoon. Um, mm -hmm. and, and those are um, to attract and retain key employees presented by Sneha and Max um, from JS Impact LLC. And so I'm not sure how many people know about this um, IRC section 162 bonus, but that is what it is about. So it's really a tool that is designed to attract top talent um, and, and reward those that are there. So um, again, attracting, retaining these key employees um, and the, the different benefits that uh, this product has. So they will be going through that. And then we also have Legal Core, who is going to go through um, another legal topic. This one will be on contracts, agreements, and office leases. So just understanding fundamentals of contracts and how they work um, with your commercial leases, any operating agreements, vendor agreements, that sort of thing. So just to get a better understanding of what these contracts entail and your responsibilities for them. So those are two afternoon sessions, and then there will be wow. one other that we will highlight later. To be determined. So we covered so far, super exciting keynotes and lunch speakers and panels, and uh, now the, the different seminars. Um, I'm sure our attendees here, our viewers here, also want to know who they can network with, right? What are the other companies that are supporting it? What are the people that are going to be there? Can we go through that list if we have that? Absolutely. So, of course, this is an important aspect of the event, just making and building these relationships and connections. Um, and there's so many people there to meet, and they all really care about supporting immigrant entrepreneurs and small business. They have a passion for small business and that's why they're here. So we have a list of exhibitors that are currently, um, that we are currently signed up and there are more pending. So, but I just wanted to show everybody the list for today. Um, so it's Community CPA, uh, University of St. Thomas, so they have the different departments. So the Schultz School of Entrepreneurship Family Business Center and Small Business Development Center. We have Fredrickson and Byron PA, they're presenting. Old National Bank um, is presenting. Um, Acer, which is an African um, career education resource. Um, Haser, which is a Hispanic advocacy group, they focus on research. JS Impact LLC, they are um, insurance um, focused uh, company. Uh, Latino Economic Development Center is going to be there. Um, and then Mita, again, that is also focused on economic development as well. Uh, the Minnesota Department of Administration, they're gonna be talking about procurement um, and the different uh, ways to contract with government. Uh, the Minnesota DOT similarly as ways that you can connect with the DOT and uh, work with them. Uh, Neighborhood Development Center is there. It's another nonprofit. And then Office of the Minnesota Secretary of State is going to be there. Um, of course, the uh, Secretary of State is going to also be at the luncheon, but they'll have a table there to, to talk about um, support for small business. And uh, finally, U.S. Bank will be there. So um, these are great lenders to talk to to uh, if if you're interested in bank and loan products. Mm. Very cool, very cool. So how do we get people to to come? What should they do? <laughs> <laughs> that is a great question, Dan. 
So um, the, the easiest way to register is to go to our website. Uh, it's IESUSA.org. And if you go there, the landing page, it will have a link to go to the event specific page, but this is the URL for it anyway, IESUSA.org slash event slash 2024 dash IES dash Minnesota. Um, and then in that page, you will also see the, the agenda. It's going to be there. You're gonna see the people who are there. Um, and then, then at the bottom, there is a registration page. There's actually a couple of links that will take you directly to it. And the tickets are $35. It's very affordable to, to get and, and it's easy to register. So it will just ask you some basic information and then you can pay by credit card. Um, alternatively, of course, reach out to me. And then if you have any questions about how to get a ticket, email me, call me. Um, that is my cell phone there. So you can get a hold of me directly. Lastly, you can stop by the Community CPA office. So again, Community CPA is a big supporter of of ours and so they have the Bloomington, Minnesota office. You can pick up some flyers there. Um, they can help you with the ticket purchase. So um, those are the different ways that we invite you to um, find out more and, and attend. Very cool. So Kat, at this time, do you wanna give a shout out to our sponsors of Immigrant Entrepreneur Summit? I would, thank you. Of course, this event does not happen without our sponsors who are very supportive of our mission and what we're trying to do. So of course, presenting sponsor Community CPA, they have been uh, really our lifelong partners in, in our entrepreneurial journey. So um, always a big thank you, Dan, to your firm for supporting IES. And then we also want to thank um, Silver Sponsor University of St. Thomas and their different departments for supporting IES again. I believe this is going to be their third year doing it. So they are great supporters of IES. And then lastly, we have some corporate friend sponsors, Fredrickson and Byron PA and Old National Bank. Um, we're happy to have them this year with us as well. So. Yeah, those are our top sponsors, but we also have those exhibitors and other supporters of the event as well. Very cool. Kat, do you mind stop sharing real quick? Yes, of course. I'm actually going to talk a little bit about Community CPA now. Perfect. And uh, I'm going to share my screen so you guys uh, have access to our website and how you can interact with us and how you can get an appointment with us and work with us about all your different business needs. So this is our website. And if you come to www.communitycpa.com, you'll see our page like this. You'll see about Community CPA and you'll see uh, the different accolades uh, that we received, one most recently about our IT technology being one of the best firms around the country by Accounting Today, and our exciting news that we shared earlier about Houston Branch coming here soon. If you want to get a hold of uh, one of our partners in our firm and the different expertise, you can always click appointments at the top here, and you'll see um, everyone's kind of uh, appointment calendar. Um, normally this is working. Oh, there it is. So you can view different people, different roles that they play, and then different uh, areas of expertise they cover and their live calendar that you can book your appointments. Um, so just wanted to share that with everyone here today. And of course, our webinars, they're all recorded. They're all here. You just go to Community CPA, type that on YouTube, 
And then you'll find our channel that looks like this. It's a round circle with our logo on it, with a little yin there uh, dangling. And so you'll be able to click on our videos and see all the different sessions and talks that we've done. If you have a topic in mind, for instance, nonprofit, you just click on that and then click enter. Everything related to nonprofit that we talked about will be found here. How cool is that? So it's all free. This is all something we've built for you. So you can have a place to see what we're all talking about, what's new in the area. Oh, the only thing I always have people pay attention to is just the time that it was posted. You remember when I gave that disclaimer in the beginning and I was talking about how you want to make sure that things are up to date. You want to make sure you grab things that are up to date because information is always changing, right? So just kind of keep that in mind, pay attention to when it was posted, try to find the ones that are most recently posted uh, and that will probably be more helpful, okay? So that's it for today. Catherine, I really wanted to thank you for your time today organizing this. And uh, I know I'm going to be very much involved with Immigrant Entrepreneur Summit, making sure that the event is running well. And it's really the premier nonprofit event of Minnesota. And so I'm um, looking forward to seeing you at the event and all of our viewers today. Uh, thank you for viewing and learning about IES. Catherine, do you have any Last words for our, our viewers and audience today. I just wanted to say again, thank you, Dan, for letting me have this opportunity to speak to people. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, Catherine at IESUSA.org. I'm happy to talk to you about the event further and how you can get involved in the future. We're always looking for those partnerships um, even if not for this event, then for upcoming ones that we have, there's a lot of different opportunities. For sure. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thank you for viewing. We'll see you guys again here soon. Take care. Bye, Dan. Bye. Bye, Catherine.